Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, I have a small Atomic Studios haul to share with you guys. I was debating whether or not to share it uh, because it's not big, but it, it does have a mystery die bundle in it. And I was excited because pretty much all of it I didn't have, which was really nice. And I liked the pieces. So anywho, uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is non-dye related. Um, I went ahead and grabbed two more of these uh, specialty um, packs of the Emerald Hessian. It's a really beautiful green. And um, this is on sale right now under the warehouse sale. So I grabbed two more of those because uh, this is one of my favorite colors of green, like the really dark one. I also like really light that I kind of, it's kind of like, like a sage green, a really soft green. Um, and those two are like my favorite colors. So I grabbed two more of those. So I think I'm good in the Emerald Hessian department now. So um, there's that. Then I also grabbed this. This was part. This was on the uh, Wednesday die sale as well, and this is called the Cute Cupcakes die set. Um, I don't do a lot of cupcakes, but I thought these would be fun to make and fill with like little treats and goodies to give as gifts. Um, I mean, you could use them to decorate cupcakes as well, but that's. That's not me. So you, you can choose two different types of tops. Um, you can go with like this domed one, or you have this one that kind of resembles um, a whipped cream top and a cherry. And then you have other embellishing bits that are included. The largest die is 3.9 by 9.4 inches. So can run it through your standard die cutting machine, but I think that means you will need an extended cutting plate. But as far as width goes, you've got you know, plenty of room. So um, I think this was really cheap. So that's why I grabbed that. Um, so there's that. The only other thing in this order is the mystery die bundle. If you're not familiar with Tonic, when they do their mystery die bundles, they're usually $25. And you're guaranteed to get $100 worth of dies. So... The first one I got is this um, Memorable Moments Keepsake Insert Creator Die Set. Now there's many, there are many different like, um, this is the base spine and decoration, so that's nice. Um, there are many different inserts, there's many items in the memory um, keepsake line, or the My Memory Book line. Um, I don't think I have this one, so which is really nice because I do have quite a few of them. This is 5.4 by 9.6 for the largest one, so this one will go through your standard die machine. Um, if you're new to my channel and you're like, well, why am I doing the annou um, announcing the sizes? Um, that's because a lot of tonic dies are you require a wide format um, die cutter. And, um, I don't want somebody to like see something I'm sharing, get it, and then they can't use it because their machine can't accommodate the width. And Tonic is notorious for that. So I always try to, um, give sizes of the largest dies so you know, um, because I know I would be really sad if there was something I wanted, bought it, and then I couldn't even cut it, um. And so when I say wide format, um, so we're talking about like the standard Gemini, not the Gemini Junior, um, the Spellbinders Platinum, not the Platinum 6, um, the Cricut, I want to say it's Pro or Plus, I'm not sure, because um, I don't have that one. Uh, one of them is much wider than the standard um, Big Shot. So if somebody can clarify down in the comments... Um, which one is the wide format? Um, they could both be, because I think one of them is, 
um, a manual and the other one might be an electric. So, uh, like I said, I don't have either of those, so I'm not positive of the difference. So anyway, so this came in that mystery bundle. So I'm going to set this over here to the side. So keep in mind, all these dies I'm sharing right now were $25 total. Next, it came with this floating florals die set. Um, I don't believe I have this one either. Um, yeah, I don't think I do. There are... The largest die is 4.5 by 6.8, so you can uh, use that in a standard machine. And so you have your base, and then you have these other pieces, and then you have the inserts. So there are four dies in here. Hmm. Okay, so it must be... So you must be the base then it must be two different backgrounds and then the one insert that's my assumption so there's that this i am really excited about this is holly and berry's die set um this i can use like crazy at christmas time so so I guess it's from a line called Susan's Garden Club. I don't know, but I really like this. And it, it looks like they use stone drops um, on the holly berries. So there you go. You get uh, five dies. Oh, this says three dies. Maybe these are like connected together. I, I don't know. Yeah, they are right there. You see them, they're all connected together. So there's that. Then um, we have two sentiment dies. So we have this one that says, happy birthday. And then this one says, thank you. And it looks like it's got um, some flowers that are part of it as well. So, so there are those. And then the last two, um, these are part of the Rococo set, and I am loving these, especially this one. Um, this looks like a little church, and to me this would be one that I think would be really pretty to do as like a stained glass piece. And so when I say stained glass, I would take vellum paper, either different colored vellum paper, or you can get plain vellum paper and color it and then either insert it or put it on the back um, so it kind of has like a translucent um, effect to it. I think that will be really pretty so I think I'm going to try that maybe for some Christmas cards or you could also possibly section it off although you'd have to be really good at some fine cutting of foam to make little shaker areas so anyway so there's that one and then this one's really cute too. And this is a birthday cake. So, and you can do some paper piecing with this one as well. Uh, so that, so all of these dies right here for $25. Um, I think that is really fantastic. Um, really happy with all of them. Um, so, so yeah. Yep, so that is my small Tonic Studios haul. Um, any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, I have another Tonic order coming in uh, today, so you guys will probably see it tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are having a great Monday. Fingers crossed this week goes faster. Um, it's going to be a busy week for me. Our system is going down for an upgrade and I am the keeper of the inventory. So I, I get to manually issue and track everything that comes in and out of our warehouse for the hospital. Um, and considering we are a massive hospital, it's going to be fun, but we have a really good system in place when that, um, happens. So 
on the bright side, it's going to keep me busy, which makes the days go by faster. So hopefully that equals for a really quick week. So with that, love you guys to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.